Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, as I'm recording this, we had game update 80 that was added to the game not too long ago. So we're going to go through some of the changes that game update 80 brought to the game. Uh, there's a few changes we won't be able to look at. Uh, for example, one of the items that game 80 added to the game is the St. Patrick Seasonal. But the St. Patrick Seasonal is not, uh, is not live yet. Uh, basically, all the data that was needed all the patching that was needed for, for the the St. Patrick Seasonal has been added into the game. But the St. Patrick Seasonal only is going to start on uh, March 12th, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to take a look at most of the changes. But there's a few like there's a few changes to, to some powers. Uh, there's a few changes to like Earth and Light and, and uh, the controller debuffs. We're not going to take a look at those. What we're going to take a look is the, the changes that were made to the layers and some of the changes that were made to the marketplace. So let's get started. The very first change we're going to take a look at is as you can see, there's a lot of armories in my base right now. One of the changes that was made in this universe online is that now you can have up to 16 armory in your lair if you want to. So previously, you could have 16 armories if you wanted to, but you, you had to have four bases, and you could only have four armory per bases. So basically, four armory times four bases, you could have 16 armories, but it was throughout all your bases. Now they've, they've made a change so that you can have all 16 armories within a single base now. You still have a limit of 16 armories for one character, but now, as you can see, all those armories can be within one base. If you're a guy like me and you had four bases, you could have uh, 16 armories before. But now, with the new changes, even if you have only one base, you can have 16 armory if you want to. Obviously, you have to purchase armories to do that. Uh, you get one free armory, but every single other armories, you have to purchase them. And where do you purchase them? You purchase them from the marketplace. I will take a look at the marketplace in a bit. I'll just go uh, throughout some of the changes very quickly. So let's take a look at our panel here. So as you can see, I have 16 out of 16 armories placed in my lair. You can see that to the bottom right to the screen. And also I have 10 out of 10 amenities placed in my lair. That's another change that was made to, to the layers. Now, previously we could have up to 6 amenities. Now we can have up to 10 amenities in our lair if we want to. And I'm sure that some of you guys are probably wondering why 10 amenities, seeing how, in truth, there's only 9 amenities. Well, technically there's only 8 amenities and there's the teleporter. So, and the teleporter kind of counts as one amenity. So. Technically, there's nine amenities, but you can purchase amenities from the marketplace, but you can also get some amenities by gathering certain collections in the open world. So if you're like me and you have, uh, let's take a quick look. And let's remove that uh, to be able to show you. So if you're like me, I, I, with this character, I have the armories that I've purchased, but also I have the armories that I was able to collect by collecting uh, collections in the open world. Basically, you can see the purple armory, the purple amenities. These are amenities that I collected the collections for in the open world. And the yellow, uh, the yellow amenities are the amenities that I actually purchased. So basically, I have two of each amenities. So if I want to, I can have, like, let's say, two mailbox in my lair, which is actually what I have. Like for example, it allows me to be able to have one mailbox here. I have my sorter vendor here. I have my teleporter right here. I have my bank right here. And if I go up here, I have another mailbox and I have the broker here. The reason why I, I have a second mailbox here is for two reasons. The first reason is that getting mail is something that happens quite a lot, especially if I sell a lot of base items. So as soon as I enter my lair, I can already straight away get, get access to my mail if I want to, and I could leave and go somewhere else. But if I use also my, my, if I use my broker, then I just have to go a few feet away in order to be able to get whatever I purchased with my broker. So whatever items I purchase with the broker, usually a few seconds later, the items uh, are in my mail. So I can just come here and pick it up. 
So it makes it a lot more convenient to be, to be able to purchase items from the broker. And usually over here I'll put my uh, my crafting station. I'll put my uh, R&D uh, vendor. And I have my respect station here. And last but not least, I have my sparring target here. I do have a layer where I have, well actually I have a few layers where I have two sparring target. I'll try to show an example in just a minute. So as you saw, basically I can have 10 amenities in my layer now. And if I want to, I can have two of the same amenities because I did purchase the amenities on the marketplace. And also I did gather the collections in the open world in order to be able to get the amenities that you can get thanks to the collections. And of course, as you can see, I have my 16 armories right here. As you can see, the armories take a lot of place. It took me a while to figure out how to be able to put them without... Basically, at first, the first time I, 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 I had my 16 armories, I was pretty much using the whole room just for those armories. Technically, I'm still kind of using the whole room for, for those armories. But I, I'm going to be able to put at least a few items here that I, I wouldn't have been able to put uh, if, if my 16 armories would take the whole room. So as you can see, the armories take a lot of room. If you want to have them all in one room, it's a bit tricky, but there, there's a, a way to do that. Or you could decide to spread them throughout all your, all your base. You decide. You don't have to put them all in the same spot. I've, I have them all in the same spot because I, I thought it would be cool to do that. And also re-imprinting all those armories, uh, that could be a pain in the butt in the long run. So I figure if they're all right next to each other, it should be a little easier to, to re-imprint them as needed. Also another one of the changes that have been made is for the, the, the bank and the inventory. For the bank, they've increased the amount of shared bank that we can have. So uh, you may not realize it, but basically I've, I've purchased one additional seven slots in my uh, in my uh, shared bank. I think I could purchase it uh, three more times, like I could purchase three times uh, seven slot again. So I could purchase up to 20 more, 21 more slots. I purchased one more extra row because I, right now that's all I really need. But in the long run, I'll probably maximize the, the shared bank. Uh, the shared bank makes it very convenient to trade item between characters, or in this case, to have, let's say, all my uh, my catalysts here, so that all my characters have access to the catalyst that I own. So in the long run, I pretty much guarantee you that I'll probably maximize uh, my shared bank. Uh, we'll see. Also, the same is true with the bank. Uh, previously, I had pretty much I had purchased the maximum uh, I the maximum space for the bank as I could, and the same was true with my inventory. I had pretty much purchased uh, the the maximum. But now with the new changes, I'm going to be able to purchase a few more rows of each. Uh, let's go to the marketplace to take a look. It'll make a bit more sense, I suppose. We'll get there someday. Uh, the marketplace has been acting a bit funky. They just made the change, so I guess everyone is trying to access the, the marketplace right now. Uh, let's take a quick look at the... Oh, okay, we're good here. So basically, if you want to be able to, to upgrade uh, your bank, your shared bank, and all that good stuff, you have to go to the upgrades. And then you can see here, additional bank slots. So previously, I had maximized the amount of bank slots that, could, that I could have. Now, I'm going to be able to purchase a few, a few additional bank slots. How many additional? I have no idea. I didn't really try it. But I suspect it's uh, at least a couple. And the same will be true with uh, the additional, as you can see, the additional shared bank slots. And you can see also the additional inventory slots. Again, previously, until, until uh, game update 80, I had maximized all of that. Now I'm going to be able to purchase additional ones if I want to. The, the, one of the reasons, if you, you guys probably remember in some previous videos, you could see that my inventory was jam-packed with a whole bunch of items. But luckily, they did a few other changes. One of those other changes is that now, as you can see, the solar coal extremes can stack up to 99. Uh, previously, you could only stack them up to 16. So I had a few stacks of, of colas that would take a, uh, some room in my inventory. And also, there's other items that would stack only up to 16. Like you can see the core element goons of Gotham. Those core elements would only stack up to 16. So my inventory was pretty full with a lot of those. But luckily now, we can now stack them up 
much higher if we if we need to. Oh, wrong one. So obviously uh, they all look the same, so you have to, to carefully look at which is which in order to know if they're going to stack. Uh, obviously the Olympians do not stack on top of special forces, and the same with the goons. So you have to stack the Olympians with the Olympians. So if you try to stack your your uh, elements and it doesn't work, odds are is that you're trying to stack two different elements together. So it really has to be the very same element in order to be able to stack together. So the, the core elements now stack, and from what I understand, all the colas now stack up to 99. So it's going to be a big help to, to free up some room, because I, I know that a lot of people also were filling up their inventory with a whole bunch of Nth Metal. Uh, as you play and play and play, you gather a whole bunch of Nth Metal, and once your artifacts are to, are to the maximum, then you gather a whole bunch of Nth Metal that you cannot really use. And the same with the core elements. The core elements, uh, I was gathering so much of them that uh, my inventory was pretty much uh, jam-packed with, with those. And as you can see, I could decide to add more slots in my inventory if I wanted to, but right now, thanks to, to some items now stacking to 99 as opposed to 16, I won't need to purchase some extra inventory slot just yet, but I'm pretty sure in the long run, I, I will probably purchase a few, a few extra slots. So now, thanks to being, a, being able to have 16 armories in one layer, you can have all your armories in a single layer if you want to, and also you can have all the amenities in a single layer if you want to as well. And you're even going to have one extra slot if you want to, if, if they ever add more amenities in the future, you're going to have to want one extra slot for one other amenity if you really want to. I have to admit, it's very, very convenient. It saves you the trouble of having to switch. Uh, basically, what I, what I was doing in the past is that I had, let's say, one armory set with the crafting station, and I had one, another, uh, I had one base set with the crafting station, and I had another base set with, let's say, the broker. So when I wanted to use my crafting station, I would go to one base. When I wanted to use my my uh, my broker, I would go to another base. The reason for that is because uh, I didn't want to have to switch uh, MNATs all the time, so I thought it was more convenient to just uh, switch a to just switch a, a base instead of switching my MNATs all the time. So in one base, I would have my crafting station. In a second base, I would have my broker. And then in a third base, I would have my training dummies. And again, since I have two of each amenities if I want to, I can put two sparring dummies in my one base if I want to. Why would I want to put two sparring targets in one base? Uh, pretty much to be able to show you, when I show you sometimes uh, uh, some powers or some abilities, it allow, having two, two sparring targets allow me to show you how you can switch target using the d-pad it's not a big deal like i could go to my uh, to my league all if i wanted to but now i don't have to i can have two sparring target and uh, in this base if i want to and also i can have pretty much all the amenities if i really need to although as i mentioned i like having uh, two uh, two mailboxes like i have i like having one mailbox close to my broker and one mailbox one mailbox close to the entrance of my lair. So since I want to have two uh, two sparring target here, uh, the compromise I made in this case and this in the, in the case of this one base is that I actually have the portable crafting station. So if I ever wanted to do some crafting here, I still would have the option using my crafting station. So I have the R and D vendor right here, and I have my portable crafting station. So it allows me to have my two uh, sparring targets, and it allows me to have my two mailboxes if I want to. Again, you don't have to do what I did. Uh, it's something that I did because I, I prefer to do that. Uh, but it's a personal choice. So if you like it, you can do that. If not, you can do whatever you want. So that's pretty much it for game update 80. Uh, there were a few changes made to some, some powers, like the supercharge gen generators now generate a percentage of your supercharge instead of a flat value. But for most people, that, that won't really mean anything. 
uh, or there was a, a slight tweak uh, made to earthquake so that now it, it uh, correctly allows casting when uh, 10,000 supercharge are used. Uh, and also there's a, light, a little change that was made to the chainsaw. The, the first hit of chainsaw now properly does uh, damage and dazes uh, en enemy targets. And also, last but not least, there was a slight change to controller debuffs. Uh, the controller defense debuffs now will there, there was a slight uh, problem with the debuffs and how the, the debuffs should work properly. Uh, there's also a slight uh, boost that we're giving to the stats of certain yeah, NPCs, that but uh, that's that's a that's a small uh, a small thing. So that's going to be pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, I will probably uh, now I'll be able to use my 16 armories right here to be able to show you some styles in the future. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. I could I could show you more styles uh, in the past. It's just that sometimes I had to uh, either manually manually change the styles on my character, or had to switch uh, to go to two different bases to be able to show you all the styles that I had prepared ahead of time. Uh, usually, when I when I show you some styles, I will prepare armories with the the different styles that I want to show you. But previously in the past, since I could have only four armories in one base, uh, I would manually sometimes uh, switch certain styles. If I wanted to show you more than four styles, or I would have to switch uh, bases if I wanted to show you styles that I had uh, set up in a separate base. And now I'm going to be able to do all of that within one base. So that's going to be it for now, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.